Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Just after 10 o'clock in Honolulu, 4 o'clock in New York on Wednesday, March 30th, 2016. Equities markets have closed for the day. Settlement is happening as we speak, and we will see a stronger close, of course, in the U.S. equities markets today with the Dow Jones Industrial Average trading up roughly 83 points on the day at 17,716. We did recommend implementing a long Standard & Poor's trade yesterday, and that trade, of course, is starting to work within our favor market trading up about seven and three quarters of a point at 2055 we'll talk about our entry price as well as our exit strategy all on today's daily report traders no doubt statements made by fed chairwoman janet yellen certainly certainly were supportive of equities not only in the united states but globally we saw a firestorm of advances in global equities markets last night in overseas trading when we carried that over into the u.s markets of course we saw a nice strong open in the market and the market pretty much stayed steady throughout the day 17,716 that's what I said look at the high 17,790 low 17,652 so we have had a range but we did really close near and above the opening which opened at 17,652 now how does that relate to our current trade which is the standard and poor's 500 and really to look at that we have gone ahead and pulled up our daily chart in the e-mini s p 500 as you can see market close roughly at 2055 puts it up about seven and a half points you had a half a percent rise in the dow jones industrial average 0.37 so just above a third of a percent in the e-mini today but to me the key really when we look at this market is twofold there's two technical things that are important to me first of all the fact that we have identified this former resistance at around 2043 that of course is a 23 percent retracement it is a retracement of this move here from the tops at 2109 to these august meltdowns here in other words we created it by using this parameter right here and so we are effectively above that and as long as we're staying above that to me that is a very very solid statement in terms of the strength of our current rally secondly we take a look at our 200 day moving average that's coming in at around 2010 right now so we're solidly above that we are solidly above what i'm going to call former resistance because i believe at this point we are looking at 2040 as a level of support so traders in terms of other markets that are important for us to watch dollar us dollar still under tremendous pressure closing off about three or a third of a percent today at 94.83 you can see this being our daily chart so we have had three very very strong days as this market is sold off in terms of where we would look for potential support in the market we talked about the pack the fact that around 94.50 obviously you've got this former low that comes in right here and below that has really got to be 93.80 which is the point in which the market traded to a low this of course back in october of last year trading below 9400 before popping back up to track again at 100 on the dollar index and then traders lastly do want to take a look at crude oil oddly enough crude oil in essence is unchanged to down a little bit 3828 you can see it on this daily chart the relationship between the open and close it is rather narrow you're looking at really a tick apart so maybe down maybe a tick or two the key right now is i see some sort of tentative support coming in in oil roughly at about call it 3725 strong resistance at 42 and then as i said i also believe that we have some resistance at at about $40 per barrel. Maintain your current long position in the E-mini Standard & Poor's 500. Maintain your current stop. We'll look to adjust that over the next couple of days. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another Trending Markets.